Our Sony reptilian overlords would never allow the tiniest amount of joy to seep into our blackened hearts because they have cold-blooded claws that like to scratch away the hope of all of our meaningless lives. We have all the tools necessary in the Sony ecosystem to get good squirrel footage, but I feel like we could push the envelope a little bit. Sony. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. We're on the Blackmagic OG Voigtlander 58mm 1.4 at God only knows what toniature because you can't even see it. Speed Booster controls it and it's like a one, two, three, four. Those aren't the numbers. Nothing is in focus behind me. The tonne is so blurable. So I went out for a little hike, brought the Sony a7S III with the 200 to 600 and 1.4 times teleconverter. So everything at 4K 120 is 920 mils. And I got a lot of HD 240 frame footage for some reason, and I will display it to you throughout the video as we cry about the lack of options in wildlife. So for the longest time, Sony full frame mirrorless was this like new system and they didn't have a telephoto lens really until the 200 to 600 came out and then it was like wow oh we actually have one now and it's sharp it's good it's got 3d pop autofocus as well it's like okay now we're a system 400 years later we're waiting just waiting for like a nice affordable prime lens maybe 600 mil tony 4 is like twenty thousand dollars that's a weird safari thing where you're like I'm on vacation. Uh-oh, a lion might eat me. Better write my will before I leave. No one needs that level of, like, heft, heft, and cost. But, like, come on. I'm getting neighborhood squirrels here. I just, I want a prime with some 3D pop, something affordable. How come Nikon is the only one doing it? They're the only ones, except Leica, Olympus. Fuji? No. 200 mil. You, you think you're in this conversation with a 200 mil prime? Go to the bank for some reason. Think of this though. You could buy into Nikon right now. Z8, Z63 coming any second now. And then like a 600 mil prime or the 800 you spring. It's a little pricey. It is. It is that. But nobody else is doing that. Canon tried with the 800 mil Tony 11 primes, like what were those really? They were funny, it's a funny release, but like, come on, come on now. But I'm surprised Sony isn't bringing out some type of affordable, cheap, lightweight prime, like a 600 mil prime or even an 800 would be preferred. Sony could make it the smallest, they're, tell me they're working on it. An 800 mil Tony, even if it's more than the Nikon, 6.3 for Nikon, we do Tony 8. Would you not love a Sony Tony 8? 800 mil prime with teleconverters on there. Lightweight, lighter than the Nikon. Come on. This makes me want to jump into Nikon because there's several advantages you would get in that system. The Stabe is so much better. Like all this footage I'm showing you, every time I press record, I'm always looking through the viewfinder thinking, damn, how come I cannot hold this steady? It's swaying up and down, left and right. There's no way to make it stable. I do not understand how you're supposed to hold it. It's too front heavy. So any little movement of your camera hand just like throws it out of balance. It's impossible. Whereas I've been on other systems, Panasonic G9 2, that was super stable with sync stabe. And then Fuji, 100 to 400, that thing was rock solid. Unless you moved, then it got jerky. So like Nikon is that level. They're right, super stable. So like already your shot's nicer looking. The age old debate between zoom lens or prime for wildlife is a one you can have for another day. Because I think prime is more fun because you don't have to think of any zooming action. You just point, boom, record focus your only thing is focus and stable where zoom is like oh should i zoom out too many things there's you're now moving your hand between the focus position and the zoom position and you're doing too much wiggling whereas like if you had a nice prime your hand's always on that focus ring it's like 
becomes the back of your hand. You just know where it is at all time and that's all you have to focus on. So like I want a prime, but I don't have one. And the joke of the century is a Sigma prime is coming. You're joking, right? A 500 mil is not enough reach. The 100 to 500 cannon pales in comparison to my 200 to 600. I noticed it immediately. It was like, wow, that 600 sure is nice to have. Every cannon shooter knows that 500 sucks. And it's not enough, but you can crop if you're taking photos, but for video, it's not really enough, man. So they have the 200 to 800 now. Thing is stupid. External zoom. I'll external zoom your mom tonight. But Sigma is seriously trying to pretend that lens is gonna work in video with the sync stabe. It's not gonna work. It's gonna fight the IBIS because Sony's a dick. They will not let third party lens manufacturers sync with the IBIS for whatever reason, even Zeiss. It's just like shakier than it should be. It's like, why is that? It's just not gonna work, sorry. Like Sony is, everyone's mad at Canon for not letting third party manufacturers make autofocus lenses. It's like every company has a little kibosh where they're like, you can make the lens, but sorry, we can't give you all the information to have it work nice. So like Nikon, they make the Tamron fake Tamron lenses with, and they don't allow, they only allow certain focal lengths to be made and others are thrown through the legal system. So it's like Sony, Sigma, Sony, like, come on, it's not going to sync. For photos, it'll be fantastic. This is only video we're talking about here. You photographers are lucky, even though you'll never get laid ever. Photographers can't get laid. So unless I hear rumblings of an 800 mil prime that Sony's working on, I have to think that Nikon is in my future as soon as they have a camera body that can actually compete with the A7S III. Will that ever come? I'm highly thinking that they're, they might match 240 frames one day. I'll be long gone by then. I'm already dreaming of 480. Or at least 360, give me something. Auto focus? Not penny boy level manual focus. Come on. You know what I don't get? Why are we in the situation where Mitsubishi is at the top, they own every camera company? I've already made the video, you saw it, that's real. Mitsubishi decides to make each company have an imperfect camera. Instead of like some really nice one, just merge the companies into Fuji Olympus Akanak. And I will buy it. Nikon seems to be the leader right now, but their video specs aren't leading anything, and their autofocus is questionable at best. Not Sony level. But you have the best prime, so it's like all these deal breaking flaws to get the best thing. And then Sony, like we have nothing but a zoom, it's heavy as hell. Where's my prime? Got nothing. Freaking stabe, not very good. Canon, ooh, Canon color science. External zoom, super dumb. All these hard to edit files. Fuji, you're a crop, you're a crop bitch. You got nothing, your stabe's jerky. Your autofocus is the worst of the bunch. Panasonic, wow, amazing. Oh, it's so dark. Tony 12.6, grow a sack, grow a sack. Olympus, you're joking, right? That Sigma lens, heavier and more expensive than everything I've mentioned so far, just because you have some extra reach. Oh, compare the full frame with 1200. No one asked for 1200. You're in a conundrum, some kind of fallacy, a straw man fallacy, maybe. Nobody needs that. There's nobody else. Nobody's doing anything like fun. Where's the fun? I'm gonna have to resort to using this Blackmagic OG with my Leica 200mm Prime that nobody will buy, even though it's only $1,400 Canadian right now. Nobody's pouncing on that because I sold the teleconverter like a moron. So I just need a, a magnetic viewfinder to attach to that screen. But then I only get 1080p, 30p max. I can slow it down 20%. That'll be magical. And a little freaking topaz in there. I want to cry. So it feels like Nikon is leading the way, but Sony will come back with something amazing soon. 
hopefully, and then maybe a prime, and then okay. You work on your stave, will that ever work? I doubt it, the mount hole's too small. It's too small of a mount hole. Good luck wiggling in there. So, I'm gonna leave. Who do you think's the best wildlife video system? Not photos. Any, any of them can do photos. You suck. How you doing? You subscribing for more videos? I'll see you in the next one. You'll never guess the books behind me. I blurred them out with a ton. Like I said, blurred. I'm blurrier than the books. I should have left. There's nothing that way. I would have walked right into a wall.